dear viewers, um, in covalent bonds, uh, it's not it's not giving or taking; it's sharing in the middle. And in ionic bonds, it is not sharing, but it's giving or taking away. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Inshallah, today I will uh, show you about the co uh, covalent versus ionic bonds. Now, to visualize this and understand it better, I will draw a couple of diagrams, which hopefully, inshallah, will um, help us understand more about these two bonds. So first, I'm going to start with covalent bonds. Now, um, let me draw that diagram. Covalent bonds is basically when you are when there are when two atoms are sharing the electrons in their middle. So, as an example, let's say we have one hydrogen atom, and obviously it has one electron in its outer ring, and there it comes near another hydrogen electron who also has one electron on their outer ring. Now it can't give or take, so it has to share it in their middle. So it's going to look somewhat like this. So this is the electron from this one. And this is being shared with this hydrogen. But this hydrogen, hydrogen also has another electron. So it's being in the middle again. So this is how it would look like if it were a covalent bond. So now let's do ionic bonds. I'm just going to do it underneath so that we can tell the difference between the covalent bonds and ionic bonds. Ionic bonds are basically, instead of sharing, they're giving or taking the electrons from one another, from one another atoms, right? So um, we're going to take examples of sodium and chloride, chlorine. So sodium, Na, will look something like this. Let me just make it smaller so that draw the electrons and a so it has on the outer in the outer ring it has two first two and then on the second ring sorry on the second ring there is eight one two three four five six seven eight and then on the outer ring the outermost ring there's one electron now this makes 11. How do you know that sodium has 2, 8, and 1? Well, sodium actually has 11 protons. How do you know that? It, uh, it's on the periodic table of elements. It you, says, it, you wanted to tell that its atomic number is 11, yeah, right? Yeah. You missed that part. Okay, so the atomic number is 11. Its number of protons is 11. So since we're drawing a neutral atom, obviously its electrons are also going to be 11. So that's why there's uh, 2. 8 and then 1 on the outermost ring. Now it comes near and meets chloride. See, uh, chlorine, sorry, so chlorine. And chlorine, I'm just going to say, has 7, yeah, 17 protons, or it's the atomic number is 17. So that's why we're also going to have 17 electrons. Let me just try a little farther so that we can fit all of the electrons. See, uh, okay. So there is two first. On the outer ring first, on the uh, first ring there's two, and then again there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on the outermost ring there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm a little farther. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there's seven. Now, to make it stab stable, we need one more electron here one less electron here. So then, instead of sharing it, um, this electron is going to be directly converted onto this, um, on, the, on the outer ring of the chlorine. So now that it gives it away, it's gonna look something like this. The electron fully vanished because it's gone. And then, it's gonna be converted right here as another electron that just came from sodium. So see, dear viewers, um, in covalent bonds, uh, it's not it's not giving or taking, it's sharing in the middle. And in ionic bonds, it is not sharing, but it's giving or taking away. So inshallah, I hope you all understood about its differences, the co how to, what's the covalent bond and what's the ionic bond. Thank you and assalamu alaikum. Thank you.